All the stabby ones. All right, stabbed. Ah! All right. <laughs> and then Spencer stabs himself. And then Spencer gets bit by a Strider. Yeah, I almost got impaled by the Strider. It apparently does not I like. I think we are. We're good. Yep. All right, guys. Uh, this is Jake, Ace of Spades, back with uh, Strangers with Knives. It's been after, a while, guys. After like. Five months. Six months. <laughs> Has it been six months? No, I don't think it's been that long. It's but been a while. Three, four months. Um I I got married and yep. so I couldn't like we just I just didn't have time. Huh. Matt moved. I did. I just moved new apartment. I've done literally nothing new with my life at all. <laughs> <laughs> so but uh, we got a bunch of new stuff. We actually got Obviously, as you can see with the uh yeah, there's like nothing oh, old in yeah. here. Um, All right, guys, we got to apologize. We've gone a little bit nuts. We started the show thinking we were going to do mostly cheaper stuff, maybe the occasional expensive knife. You can probably see that sort of changed. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't really stick to that too well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Only, yeah, that, that's... That's the cheap one. That's I think the that's cheapest the cheapest knife on the, on the table right now. It is. It's the cheapest. It's the cheapest thing on the table in general. Yep. Um. Yeah. So we kind of, we didn't completely abandon that. I'm sure. Like, there's a couple Spencer, like. Grab my key bar. Oh, oh, we gotta add the key bar. Okay. Yeah, because I'm like totally going fully Instagram famous. <laughs> <laughs> if it's cool, if Straight it's Instagram cool famous. On Instagram, Jake has to have. Oh, speaking of, I mean, not to plug my shit, but I am back on Instagram. I deleted my old one. The new one is also bad karma or bad XVX karma, but it's gonna be completely focused on like more like just my tattoo print collection and knives. So, if you miss my old Instagram, follow that shit. Spade had to go get his key bar, or technically Spencer went and got Spade's key bar, but side the point. But yeah, so, like Spencer said, we kind of completely and utterly abandoned the whole, like, average, everyday, like, average guy carry thing. Um, I mean, RB? We didn't, we didn't really mean to. No, not at just, all. Like, just I just sort of happened. Yeah, like... Like, I've been trading and selling. Like, I've gone through probably five or six knives that we never filmed. Yeah, we've, we've yeah. All I've been had trading and selling. Too. Yeah, we all have gone through some never stuff. Never got on we camera, yeah. but... Um, so, I guess we'll kind of do what we normally do and just talk about what, what, we, were, what uh, we carried today quickly, and then we'll cover our newest stuff that's well do you want to do you want to just start at one end and go and down? go the other yeah i mean yeah i mean we, we can do that, that too because it's pretty much every other yep. sort of. Is it every other? Yeah. matt well, do you want to take it away with the uh mini commander i will um this is actually not super super new um you guys haven't seen it yet it is my emerson mini commander this thing's a little tank they all are um it's one of the newer ones with the um Standoffs instead of the uh, yeah. Blaster. If Not you can uh, uh, backspacer. Yes, backspacer. Where where are we right here? Yeah, there you, you can. Go. You can probably focus. See it. Come on. What uh, what year is it? Um. Fourteen. Fourteen. Two thousand fourteen. Yep. If I can see it, should yeah, it is a fourteen. Um, not super super new. Got this a little while ago, but like I said, we haven't or like we said, we haven't filmed in a while, so it's. It's one of the newer ones. Um, I had one of these two uh, that never made it on camera. Uh, the exact same model, exact same year, in fact. Nice. It's an awesome little knife. It really is. Like, it fits. Like, I have a big mitt, and this thing fits really, really well. Like, I can wrap my entire hand around this. Well, the crazy the... thing about the mini Emersons is when they say mini, they're not small. No, like, like they're uh... full size, like, large EDC knives versus the full size Emersons, which are basically full size, like, fighting Combat, tactical yeah. full. Yeah, like, this thing is, no, this is a perfect, to me, it's a perfect EDC, like, knife. A lot of people would think it's still too big. Um, I don't, like, I, I carry bigger knives, and, uh, I think this is a perfect size. I think the size. rest of us do, too. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's nothing that's technically <laughs> small on here. Oh, ignore the bandage. No, I did not cut myself. This is from work. Stupid nail in a box but I did, nothing bit <laughs> none of these have actually gotta make sure the internet yeah. knows <laughs> yeah no, no like nothing bit me so far like none of these have yet but um next in line would be spade um 
This is my rate, uh, District 9A, I think. The non, I think, whatever, the non Tano one. Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> I think B, is, B is the Tanto. So, I think it is, I'm pretty sure. Um, Chinese designer, maker, um, which normally people think like that's gonna be oh, you're, a, you're missing the camera. A uh, super like cheap type of knife because it's like chi made in China and stuff. But this guy like is just a regular designer. He just happens to be based in China. Yeah, this is like this is a real knife company that just happens to be in China. It's yeah. not. Yeah. So I don't know if this camera is gonna like I got a new it's camera not too. Focusing. Yeah. Well, just. But yeah. Good. So you know, it's. Pretty nice, full titanium. It's got the steel uh, lock bar st stabilizer, um, a steel insert for the frame lock. Flips super nice. Flips amazing. It really does. Flip My favorite thing. The anodizing. Uh, the, it's got a sculpted clip on it, which yeah. for which, what are these, 250 bucks new, something like that? No, they're right at 200. Right, right at I think 200, they're like, yeah. or 209. Yeah. They are, for somewhere. what you get, they are dirt cheap, and it's awesome. Like, you yeah. get some features on this knife that you can't get on anything else. Unless you go like full custom. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think this is the only knife on the table with a sculpted clip. And yeah. it's like one of the lower end ones. So, so these things, I uh, when Jake told me he was buying one of these, I was like, those are stupid. It looks awful. Like, don't buy that. It's dumb. And then I saw it in person and got it in hand. And God, do I want one. Yeah. I, I want one so bad. <laughs> Definitely, definitely one of the next so purchases. So maybe in one of the upper, other episodes there will be three yeah, of these we'll on the table. There probably, yeah, there probably will be actually. Uh, I thought about another. getting a Tanto one too, just so I could have like a pair. But seriously, I didn't. if you guys, if you guys ever want to get in on this recent like full titanium big flipper trend, and you don't want to spend the money, the D9 is the way to go. It uh, absolutely yeah, it like is. bar none. Excellent, excellent knife. I love it, and it really does like it flips so so well. Um, where are we? Oh, yeah, back to me. Um, Sprint and Run, all black, PPT, Spyderco. I love this thing. These things are, like, you can't, the details on this are so cool. Yeah, it's, it really, it really is. Like, the fit and one. finish on this for, like, it just being a Spyderco Sprint Run is quite amazing. Like, see if it'll focus. Focus, not, dude. But you, focus. Just gotta, you just gotta keep it lower to the table. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, um, but yeah, the, the details on this, like the way they do the two-stage jimping on the yep. back of the blade and stuff, yep. like, you, you, it's you stuff you can't that. pick up looking at it online, and these are super cool. Yeah, they really are. And, like, for somebody, like, I have, like I said, a pretty big mitt, and, like, I can, like, cramp up on this and get my whole hand around it pretty easily. Like, <laughs> so it's, that's not, the way it's, actually kind of it's not um, hard for me to... Uh, like get a good good grip on this like if I'm down and like just regular like positioning I get a little bit of space on my pinky where I, I lose a little bit of grip but choking up on it I can really really take this whole thing into my hand and get a lot of really good control and I absolutely love this thing and for being a sprint run like it's one of my favorite knives that it's currently in my collection. It's a good size too. It's it so really is. It's a great size. It's actually really like not as heavy as you would think it would be with uh how, How it is. looks like it looks like a really really do you know heavy the, knife. But do you know what the blade coating is? Because it doesn't look like your typical like DLC coating. It's not, and I honestly I can't remember right now. I don't remember. It's nice, what it is. whatever it is. But yeah, I've like done a decent amount of cutting with this, and it's still in really really good shape. Um, but I honestly I don't fully remember what it is. All right, uh, do here we've got another wanna, Strider. <laughs> do you wanna? Here, we'll, we'll do this. Yeah. Oh, swap. Let's, All right, yeah. I'll do so one. So Spencer okay. can actually and talk like, about Let's something. talk about how right. beautiful that is anyway. So, technically this knife has been on the show already. It has been, it has <laughs> been filmed before. <laughs> it's a little different now, though. Um, I managed to get a set of uh, just plain copper scales for uh, my Paramilitary 2 from Rip's Garage Tech. It was fantastic. Uh, I think the guy got them made and shipped out to me in like less than a week. Uh, the fit and finish is amazing. I couldn't believe how perfect the scales are. Um, everything fits wonderfully. Uh, I, I took apart the para, which my para was perfect. It really like, was. Absolutely perfect. Perfectly centered blade. Uh, you know, flipped open amazingly, closed just as well. 
After putting on these scales, nothing has changed. It is exactly the same way that it was before. Uh, it opens and closes in the exact same way. Blade centering is still perfect. Detent is exactly where it was. Nothing has changed. And that's amazing to me. Um, you know, it fit all the original hardware real nicely. Original clips on there, nice and sturdy. Uh, honestly, the hardest part was getting the old scales off. Because if you've never done it, the little lug for the uh, lanyard hole is a pain to get out of the G10 scales. Because uh, it's press fit in there and it's like slightly beveled outward. Um, but, you know, as you can see, bare copper. Um, it's gotten quite a patina on it since I first got it. Uh, if you guys want to see what it looked like when it was shiny, you can check out my uh, Instagram. Which yeah, you posted is, uh, it like Stasis right after you put them on. Yeah, I think it was minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, was saying, it was, it looked, uh, I think you new. posted them before you showed me and we worked together. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I did it at, at my desk at work Yeah, because no one pays attention to us. <laughs> yep. So yeah, uh, Paramilitary 2, you guys know it. It's a classic knife, but if you want, right if you want scales for it, I seriously suggest uh, checking out Rip's Garage Tech. He does a bunch of different ones. I think he does aluminum, um, titanium, uh, copper, and maybe bronze. I could be wrong about bronze. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. But all reasonably cheap. He even sells his like slightly imperfect ones at like a huge discount. Like oh, I think that's, you get, that's like, awesome. That's I think really you get really slightly cool. imperfect tie scales for like. 60 bucks or something crazy like that. That's actually really really cool. Yeah. Um, so definitely check out his site really really happy with those scales So now we can do the strider <laughs> All right. On to the next one. So I I ended up with Matt's strider like my uh, as the SMF like ghost striped ghost striped SMF with yep. like the flame tie side and everything and Loved it, but started like it was just so big and I work in an office, so it was like, I really shouldn't be carrying this to work every day. And <laughs> so I ended up I ended up trading it away, got a couple other knives. Um, one was my first and only Emerson, which was the Sheepdog, um, the Flipper, which I loved as well. But anyway, I ended up trading up and selling and just getting, and ended up being able to pick this one up. For the record, this is, this right here is what six months of like, crazy Instagram trading will get you. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. So it's uh, SNG, which is the smaller version, which definitely like is perfect for EDC, even like if you are hard using it and stuff. Like it's it's still like the handle is not that small. And, no, it fits, it fits well. And everything. And this one is uh, Cerakoted, uh, Cerakoted blade, Cerakoted handle. Or uh, tie side. Cerakote is fantastic. It's yeah. so nice. So um, I did get it used and stuff, and it does have a little bit of a lock issue. Um, I threw a couple rubber O-rings on the on the stabilizer, or the lock pin. Lock, I can't remember what whatever it's called. It's called. And um, that helped it. So like, unless if you don't flick it like hard, it'll it'll lock up pretty much perfect. Um, What's it locking at if you uh, flick or open like 80%? Yeah. About 80. But, yeah. you know, the beauty of it is when you do finally send it in a Strider, they'll just fix it. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's you, how like it works. <laughs> 15 bucks to like ship it and they'll ship it back to you. Like, that's just basically cover their like shipping and handling. And yeah. So it's the DGG. D, D, DGG. Gun D, grip. Yep. And Which is an awesome pattern. It's it really is, it, and it yes. feels good in hand. I don't know. It sort of digs in your hand, but in my opinion, but I the mean, way that it have a callous ass. The hand. way that it looks. <laughs> office workers compared to a guy who you know actually <laughs> yeah, does yeah, physical whatever. labor whatever. all day. Fucking wear gloves. <laughs> uh, um, but beyond that, it is amazing looking, and I think that's like entirely worth it. Yeah. To get this version over the other versions. And it's smooth. I mean, it doesn't, like, close on itself uh, very well anyway. But, like, it will... I guess it... No. <laughs> <laughs> We're wrong. Ignore us. But it does flick really nice. And, you know, you can flick these, unlike uh, Sabenza's. So... <laughs> They will, uh, they will still we, warranty we talk, it. Haven't we talked about it? Like, didn't I go on a little mini rant in one of our yes. episodes yes. about that? Yeah, but I'm sure people have heard it a million times. <laughs> I don't so. care. So we don't need to go into it again. I'm not going to. I was just saying. 
But yeah, so I've got a Strider now, again. And a Strider, again. I love it. So. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm probably going to be picking one up again soon anyway. Yeah, so this is making me want one too, so maybe we'll all have District 9s. We'll and Strider, <laughs> yep, on the table. I'm um, leading the charge. We're a bunch of jerks. But I'm yeah. leading the charge because I'm following, you know, Instagram. So that's what Instagram <laughs> tells me to buy, so that's what I buy. Yes, Jacob has to have whatever Instagram has. Uh, not that I'm much better. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I guess, I think this is the first bench banner. No, did we get any of your grips on the show? No, no okay. we've never gotten any of So I think either. this is the first bench made on the show. It is. Um, and it's my first bench made ever, surprisingly. I've just never owned one. Um, picked up one of these in a trade, uh, just like literally on a whim. I went on Instagram and was like, oh, looking to get rid of some stuff. Never owned a bench made before. Someone offered me a bench made. And I was lucky enough to have someone offer uh, 943 Osborne. Um, and it's kind of awesome. It's a little small, um, but I think most people know that already. Uh, but, you know, it's not supposed to be a big knife. It's not designed as like a hard use tactical folder. It's sort of like a EDC semi gentleman, semi tactical something something folder. Yeah. Um, but the Axis sure. Lock. Axis lock works great. Um, the the aluminum scales on it are awesome. Like I, whatever coating they put on it, that makes it like somewhat grippy. Kind of grippy, and you'd think like this would wear off or something, but it it's great. It, it's held really well. Yeah, it it's held up through everything. Like other stuff is rubbed up carry, on it. I mean. um, <laughs> I've I've had other stuff in my pocket that's sort of like scraped at it and stuff, and usually just. Rubbing it with a wet cloth makes whatever marks go away. Yeah, my Strider scratched up my phone pretty good. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this thing's awesome. Uh, you can get it in a bunch of different blade shapes, handle colors, blah, 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 blah. General 940 series. Um, and it's great. It's, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's a really nice knife. The end. <laughs> <laughs> the, the end. Uh, um, uh, do you want to swap can, these two? Uh, I can go with the key bar too. Oh yeah, well, he has to talk key. about I mean, his key bar. We'll talk about the key bar. I mean, everyone knows what it is, but except you for the wanted non. you wanted one of these like before we even started buying nice knives. Yeah, yeah. finally got one. Yeah, so Mass Drop did a uh, did a run of the key bars for like. Uh, it was like 50 bucks for the full titanium one, um, which I was like, you know, I'm, all right, I'm just going to do it. Like, I've been wanting one forever. The time has finally come. I had a key smart for a while. I think that made it on the show. I don't remember. It did. It, it, the key smart. Sure. smart, smart key and the problem smart. is that thing kept falling apart. Yeah. I don't think you've had that problem since you got the No, key. I haven't even tightened up the screws or anything and nothing. Like, it's, it's still, old. like, everything comes out the same as it did when I first put it put it together which took about an uh, hour and a half because you got to keep changing the configuration uh, to fit the like fit like a weird key fob and all that stuff in it like that just it took me forever but um, yeah I only carry two keys now but it's still like worth it to have it and I think I'm gonna start messing with uh, uh, customizing it once I start getting some anodizing stuff, oh, so you can some anodize tools it. and materials and blah. Yeah, I mean, I've got a, I've thought about taking the Dremel to it or something, but I'm gonna test that on a cheap knife and see how it works first, and then maybe start messing with it. But you know, it's just, it's just something like another EDC item that I've always liked to have. And the biggest thing over the KeySmart, well, the second biggest thing, the biggest thing over the KeySmart is it's so much more sturdy like this this does not like flex at all well it's two big slabs of titanium yeah <laughs> it does like, it's just so much if more flex, like it'd be a problem it just feels so much more sturdy and then the other thing is a pocket clip which is just awesome just yeah just, i definitely like that, yeah, that it and no one that. else does the pocket clip which i don't get because yeah. it's like the best feature yeah yeah, yeah like absolutely key is. smart has like an add-on but it's like a it's like comes off of the lanyard like thing and so it just hangs in your pocket so just on like, like a, a lanyard like a, that and like how much like i snag my pockets on stuff at work like i'd probably rip it off like, yeah and so that the clip is also full titanium which is awesome so i think it, isn't the clip titanium like no matter what version of the body yeah you get? yep the clip is always titanium well, and you can good. like pay an extra five or six bucks to get it anodized when you when you're buying it on 
yeah, key bar sight. They're pretty neat. I've been thinking about picking one up, but I don't really carry enough keys. Yeah, I mean, I don't really carry them either. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was just Someone showing just... something funny. Um, Alright. So, um, Burning Horizon? Yep. Yeah, that'll be it. Alright, so this one's kind of weird. Um, this it is... It's not Instagram famous like the rest of these. No, no it is not. This is kind of a strange <laughs> knife. This is the uh, Bad Blood Burning Horizon. It is... Uh, it's got the Bad Blood branding on it, which is super weird because it's a company that makes like... 30 and 40 dollar knives. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the you know brand new price for this is uh, 400 bucks. <laughs> I don't understand why. Um, it's well, full we titanium. Understand yeah, why, I mean it's full titanium. It's S35 VN. It's, it's the a sick yeah. slab of it too. Uh, you know it works great. It's a bearing based flipper and all that. So it flies. Yep. Yep. Stand two standoffs. Uh, yeah, two yep. standoff. Um, it's anodized and stonewashed, uh, full titanium handles, I think I already said that. It's one of two or three hundred, I believe. Um, and it's a mid-tech version of the uh, David Mosier Burning Horizon. Yeah, David Mosier. Um, which is, you know, a full custom that's worth like sixteen hundred, I think. Yeah. Um, and I like it. I picked it up for a great deal on Instagram. But I'm not crazy about it. I, I can't see myself being happy had I spent 400 on it. Mm, yeah, I, I spent a that. lot less, so I, I'm still happy with it. Yeah. I just I don't understand why they charge so much money for it. It seems kind of crazy to me. Um, but on the bright side, uh, I'm going to have this sent in to, um, what is it? Uh, Derek, DR, Derek. DRS Blade Works. Yeah, Derek Razor Sharp on Instagram. Yep, uh, he's he's agreed to take it and do a full mod workup on it. So I'm really it's gonna really be sick excited because that dude does. Yeah, yeah he, he does, does some awesome work. Does if you guys don't follow him on Instagram, cool you absolutely should because he does really sick stuff. So it's probably gonna be two or three months before I see it again, but I think I'm gonna like it a lot more. Yeah, when, when it comes, comes back. back. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to film before he sent it out just so we could kind of see like what, it's what it looks like, like now and then we can show it to you once it's, uh, you know, been worked on a little. Yeah, and that's the other reason, like, with this, so I'm going to try to send this out before we film again. So hopefully this will be We can report fixed. on Let alone, uh, there's probably going to be new stuff on the table by the time, like, yeah, the next that's time we're filming so. Yeah, I mean, there probably will be. I'm still gunning for a Grey Man Dua. Hopefully I'll have one for the next episode. Those are so <laughs> sick. <laughs> I'm um, like, I don't, I'm, there's a couple of different things I'm looking at picking up, so like, I don't know, I'm probably like next week or two, I'm definitely going to be getting some new stuff on the table either way. Yeah, so we'll try and, we'll try and start filming again like we, on a regular we basis, yeah, like, like now that we're all settled in and everything and everything's like moving at a pace again, we'll probably so, be able to. all that being said, do we want to do the $400 knife that's actually worth $400? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, so, I finally got a hinderer. As well, I'm just gonna stand up so I can actually like that at lining knives. Hey, I can't camera. see the screen. Um, so I first picked up a three inch yeah, XM18 three inch Spanto. Inner? Oh no, Spanto, that's right. Three inch Spanto. Um, and I liked it, but it was like a ton more small than I was expecting small. it to be. And I get it. I like. I get it. It felt like a good knife. I, Oops. Flips like a you, fender. When you get something, <laughs> when you get something that tiny and hold it in your hand and think about what was paid for it, yeah, it's really hard to like yeah. it as much. Yeah, it's, yeah I didn't want to have three hundred plus like tied up into like one of the smallest knives in my collection. Like it was smaller than my Delica. Yeah, it's it's and, a tiny. And the three point five inch though is like the perfect size. Yeah, yeah someone was like looking to trade their three and a half inch Spanto for a three inch, for a three inch and I was like uh, um, Skinner Skinner yeah yours was a Spanto yep for the three and a half inch Skinner which in my opinion is like it's my favorite blade shape that they that they make at least uh, on it's, the, a, it's a gorgeous gorgeous blade shape it's a gorgeous um, knife and yeah so the other one had blue anodizing and stuff like that but I mean that can be done to this one um and it's just it's just amazing. It just flips with the push button. It's super comfy, like the like it feels great studs, things that aren't supposed to be back, like thumb studs, like 
you can flip it open like that. Like it's nice and smooth. It'll close on itself a little better than the Strider. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, it's just, it's like, it's like these two are my two high-end knives and one's more of like a fancier knife that's still tactical and one's just a beater. So I will say, and we talked about this earlier at work, you still say that you like the Hendro better than the Strider, don't you? Yeah. So I'm, I mean, I don't own them. I've just handled them, but I think I'm still the other way around. Yeah, Something it's, about it's that a Strider really is hard, super cool. It's really hard for me to pick between They're the two. They're definitely close. They've got different perks. Like the Strider looks like is just really unique, obviously. I mean, it's just got the like weird angles and stuff, and it's known to be something you can just beat on. It It's comfortable. I will say, I don't know if I'd like it as much if it didn't have that awesome Cerakote on it. That might be what, what's doing it yeah. for me. Yeah, it's a gorgeous Cerakote job. Yeah. So, I, I don't know, like, I was, I'm pretty much at the place where I'm just going to keep them both because they're both awesome. Yeah, both so. great knives. So, no more trading all of my knives away. Huh. And we've got the coach, and we'll, we'll talk about <laughs> I him. mean, if you want, do you, do you want to talk about this uh, little guy? Yeah, I'll this, talk this, about this him. Wee, this wee little guy. Yeah, the little chub. For the record... Neither me or Matt like this knife. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Quartermaster, you've done some shit that I like. I don't understand this bloody knife. Like Jacob is the only at one. all. He's the only one who likes this knife, so it's a good thing it's his. I like the little chubby <laughs> knives and the huge tactical like butcher blades as well, which I don't have any more of. But um, yeah, Quartermaster. I mean, they're. Either you love them or you hate them, really. There's no, like, in-between. Um, Pretty much. And, and, I mean, they are U.S. made in Texas. Uh, I don't even remember what the... I think it's 154 CM steel. Uh, liner lock, but they're super thick liners. And that's it's what makes ridiculous. the knife so, like, wide. It's close it's, to one of the heaviest knives on the table. I and think it's also the widest knife on the, knife on the table. Yeah. yeah. And it's Maybe. tiny. And there's steel no, liners, no too. They're not, they're not titanium, which makes it a little heavier. One thing that I love about it is it comes with a deep carry clip. It does carry super, super deep. And the deep other thing... Deep carry is lame. And the <laughs> other thing is the... Uh, I don't understand the internet's obsession with deep carry. Really? I, I don't get it. I as like long as it. mine will sit in my pocket, I want to be, like, I wanna safely, be able to. Like, I want to be able to grab my knife out of my pocket. I don't want to fight my pocket for the okay. knife. Fair, fair point. <laughs> so, and then the other thing is Quartermaster's Texas T finish, which is just like one of their trademarks that I like have okay, always the loved. The Texas T finish is awesome. Yeah. It is. A, it is a really gorgeous. And thing. they do that with all of their blades, so it's not like specific to this I one. I wish their knives were cooler, so I could buy something with a Texas yeah. T finish. Like, there's been two knives I think that you, I mean, like, I can't, I can't even like, you can't flick this thing or nothing. No, nope. it takes practice. <laughs> oh, you're saying it's too cool for us? Yeah, it's too cool. Yep. For that's it. We can't. For, for we can't our, handle it. Jacob. Jacob yep. is the is the future. Yep. So we'll probably stab it into this blade, into this board, and see how it holds up in a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna. That's actually like, guys, in case you were wondering been, why they're all sitting on a block, we're gonna be stabbing some them. wood. Um. So we got the coach. Coke. 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 Whatever. Say it right. Come on. It's um. not C O C K. It's C O C H. Yeah, just like Heckler and Coke, the gun company that everyone knows about. But I don't know about it. <laughs> I don't know about guns. I just know about knives. All right, so I managed to pick up a, um, a Coke Solo 2.0. Um, a little knuckle duster. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Uh, it's... I don't even know. I don't... I honestly don't know what the legality is of this stupid thing in this state. It Fuck New York State law anyways. It might technically be knuckles, but I don't know because there's only two of them and it's got a bunch of multi tools on it, as you can see. I said like, it out loud. You know, it's got little hex wrenches. I'll, um, I'll edit it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let me say it twice. <laughs> Fuck New York State laws. <laughs> it's got a bottle opener, blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're neat. If you want one of these, I suggest getting one because they're super cool. They're really cool. Like, they're I fun actually, to play like, with. I might get one. Yeah. I, I really the enjoy The BD's got on. Oh, really yeah. neat, too. Shout out to uh, Knife Candy. He does sculpting on Instagram and stuff like that. Made this bead. Let's see if we can get a 
better look at it. I'm not gonna be able to get it to focus. Just zoom in. <laughs> I'm like, maybe it'll work. Still learning this camera. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there, there we go. go. So this is the uh, the knife candy two face bead. Oh yeah, look uh, at that depth it's of field. Awesome. It's um, sculpted from raw. All right, guys. Uh, the camera cut out because we were like going too long or something. So. <laughs> Recording for too long. But Again, we're still now. learning it. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, it's carved from raw brass, which is pretty cool. You can see it's like pink in there, which I guess it's just the color of like super raw brass. Um. But yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, got that with the solo from a guy on Instagram. Super generous about that. Uh, and I really dig this thing. So if you guys want one, I recommend getting one because they're pretty nice. Huh. I'm starting to see why, you know, people have been going so crazy over the multi-tools and the bottle openers. And yeah, the animal see, bottle openers. Zoom this back out. Loves. There's a Menavade one on Monkey Hatch right now. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, I saw that actually. Yeah, it's only like sixty bucks. Yeah. yeah, they're not they're not as expensive as I was expecting them to be. Uh, but I don't drink, so there's no reason for me to have them. <laughs> Which is why I need like forty of them. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, so that's pretty much all the stuff that we've got on the table. Yeah. Quick um, overview of a bunch of knives. Quick, quick, somewhat quick overview of us failing to stick to the yeah. whole average man's carry concept. But, you know, whatever. Yep. Gorgeous knives. Works. Um, so we might stab this board a little. If we can get, like, this board is, like, pressurized, like. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I think I brought, I went, I went to find some crappy wood. And, there we go. Uh, I found I mean, too good of a piece of crappy in wood. It. Like, let's get the knives off before we stab <laughs> <laughs> the knives. Don't worry, I have really good aim, guys. I promise I'm not going to stab anything. Like, but I, I, you can tell, I just, uh, let's not stab me in the hand first. All right, all right, let's go. See the strider. It's going to, this is going to, it's going to, the lock's going to fail, break. you know. And this, he's going to cut lock. off his finger right yeah, now. All four of my fingers. Don't stab it right into a knot. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'd also it's go reverse grip. Aiming. All right, all right. There we go. Makes me a little more comfortable. That way you just. Yeah, that there one actually go. went in pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, it did. All right. Let's 154 can, uh... cm is pretty good. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, for uh, being <laughs> like, like what they what, what they call a mid grade quality steel. Yeah. Uh, it's stuck in there. Okay, good. all right. Let's let's be completely honest here, guys. This doesn't prove anything at all. <laughs> we're no, literally we're just... just having fun with knives and wood yeah, at this like, point. I mean, we are not rating these knives by their stability. <laughs> we're just being dummies. So you like my point? Yeah, it's is the shape. So much. You got <laughs> like a. Well, and your point's not like, like as. Yeah, steep. they also like the way they sharpen these or the way they grind these completely. Like, what do they call that grind? Uh, it's a... what do they call it? Why uh, am I drawing a blank right now? Well, I mean, we it's, all their, it's a V-ground chisel. Chisel. Chisel yeah. grind, yeah, well, so... It's a, a V-ground chisel. But, it's only I mean, a chisel on the edge. If you can see that, like, that's a nice little hole. Yep. Alright, let's all try right, it. Are we doing let's it? the burning horizon. Oh, alright. Well, it's, it's stuck. It's yep. pretty damn good. Huh? Do you want to hinder do, do you want to do the hinder? I mean, it's not exactly a stabby blade shape. It's definitely not a stabby blade yeah, it's shape. Yeah, skinning blade shape for skinning. Yeah, so skinning uh -huh. things. <laughs> things. We'll stick with things. Um, it's I, not, I'm, it's I'm not, not calling the same result it. as the Emerson, basically. All right, yeah, we'll put like uh, we'll put bets on which ones are gonna stay up, which ones aren't. Well, I'm, some of these are I'm not stabbing into the wood because the tips are yeah, too this fine. Yeah, this is probably the last one I'm stab. Well, actually, we gotta stab this guy too. The, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna stab. The this bench made in the paramilitary. Actually, like, bench made both spider coves are not getting stabbed into the wood. No. All right. Hey. Oh, it actually stuck though. All right then. We did it. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Jim. I was expecting the uh, same result as the. Uh, Good job, Rick Hender. All right. Do you <laughs> want right. to do this one? I think I got it zoomed in too far. Oh no, I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's good. Fine. Yeah. Do you want to do this guy? Wait, you Sorry, did you sorry. already do this guy? Was I not paying attention? No. I just did the strider. We stabbed it off camera, but I mean, it's it's up to you if you want to. Oh, that's right. You did it off camera. Oh, like a light. Like I went like this. Yeah. Which actually still went in pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that thing. 
Yes. This thing's a beast. It like, really is. It's a fucking tank. <laughs> it's kind of a monster. <laughs> Like it's it's like I it's think like it might have gotten the furthest in. <laughs> it's like hard to unlock and everything because it's just like such just thick everything. Everything's thick. Thick as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then are we, we gonna are we gonna stab a little chubby? Right, right. Yeah, last last one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna flick, flick it because it's right. tiny and doesn't work. We'll edit that out and then. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> gotta get the good. <laughs> and he fails again. I gotta stand up. For now, this. We're leaving, there we, yeah. now we're there leaving. There we go. You know that, right? Oh yeah, I I don't edit like. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking edit. We just throw this shit on YouTube. <laughs> All right, should I go this close? Uh, Safe again. Order. All right, do, do what you gotta do. Just don't. I'm break calling. Your a, hand. I'm calling a lock failure. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, right got a little bit of uh, penetration there. Like that's pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly as fuck knife though. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we've I think we've wasted your time with fuckery yep. enough. Yep. Yep. Maybe I'll start the video with this so um, people don't have to sit through us uh, talking. Yeah, <laughs> just like watch us stab the board a couple of times and then just like be like, oh, That wouldn't fine. be a terrible idea. Um Yeah, but it would require hint, uh editing, which I don't do, so uh, Oh, right. side note, not a single tip was damaged. Yeah, yes. everything everything seems to be yeah. good. So uh, are we gonna like toss them all on here real quick again? All like, the stabby ones. All the stabby ones. All right, stab. Ah! All right. <laughs> and then Spencer stabs himself. And then Spencer gets bit by a strider. Yeah, I almost got impaled by the strider. It apparently does not like me. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Another D9. Uh, uh, no, I'm really down. glad me screaming like an idiot is now on this. Uh, on this <laughs> I'll edit it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good night.